Hey everyone, it's Paul Pyro, and today I want to show you the world's smallest glass distillation unit. What makes it special is it's some of the smallest glassware I've ever held. So I'm going to show you today how I made it and some little tips and tricks so maybe you can make your own. Alright, so let's get started. So to get this project started, I stopped by a local antique shop and managed to get a hold of these chemistry glass capillary tubes. It was a rare find, but thankfully for you guys, I have several links in the description below for cheaper glass alternatives you can buy online. At first I wanted to see if it was even possible to melt the glass with a hand torch lighter I had. Thankfully it melted quite easily and cooled down rapidly without cracking. I continued to play around with it for quite some time until I got a good feel for the glass. One benefit of this glass melting was that the tubes were long enough not to transfer enough heat to my fingertips. This made holding the glass quite easy, except it was still very dangerous. Once I felt comfortable melting the rough glass pieces, I started on my distillation piece. This chemical glassware piece that I'm working on is called a retort. In an older chemistry, this was the earliest forms of distillation. As you can see, this was tricky trying to get the proper shape, and after many failed attempts, I eventually succeeded. The trick is to apply even heat to one end, while blowing air in slowly. This causes the glass to expand and create this cool shape I have right here. The main bulbous part is the part where I'll be placing the chemicals, and the long spout is the condenser. Now the next step was placing water into the fine glassware. This is where this thin hypodermic needle comes into play. Now for the main distillation, I will just be using plain old water, but any chemical could substitute. Now this next moment was when I realized the bulb had actually sealed off from the tube, so it was back to square one and I had to recreate the retort all over again. One benefit however was that along the way I managed to create these cool condensers which I could maybe use for future distillations. Now the final product wasn't all that attractive, but it did somewhat work. I'm using a thin 24 gauge copper wire to support the glassware and these small matchsticks to act as a mini fire underneath to apply heat. Here you can see me adding some water, and although it wasn't that impressive, steam did get created and did shoot some water out the other side. It was difficult to catch on camera, but there was steam produced on the end of the condenser. Now would it have any practical applications? Probably not, but it was still pretty neat to try. Now I did try and recreate this distillation setup several more times, but they all had a similar outcome. They didn't really work. However, with this project, I did learn a good amount on glass blowing, and I learned how not to melt glass a hundred different ways. Thank you for watching. Now if you like this video and would like to see more like this, feel free to subscribe. There's a big red button down below to help you get started. Now by subscribing to my channel, I'll keep you up to date on my latest content every single week. Now I do upload one video every single week, so you will be the first to watch it. Also, before you go, feel free to comment down below what you think about this video. Now if you want to see more projects like this, let me know, or just shoot me up with an email. The email is down in the description below so you can contact me whenever you want. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.